Hang on. Now let's try it again. Let's see if they did the thing that I'm supposed to do. You're such an asshole! I'm not kidding. They probably said, spend more money on marketing, not IT. What do you mean it's not working? Ugh, you just didn't leverage your synergies enough. Hey, Cappy, I just watched your video regarding discount terror being scummy shitbags, and it made me want to bounce an idea off of you that I've had for a while, followed up with a video request for advice. <clears throat> My hypothesis. I've come to the conclusion that business and marketing degrees, along with MBAs, are probably the most destructive degrees that are coming out of universities. Now hear me out. I know most people will think it's bullshit gender studies or teaching degrees as they respectively hire all these woke shits and indoctrinate future generations, and those are obviously big problems. But in an economic sense, these business cocksuckers only care about one thing, short-term gains. Not even that. They just care about their bonus check. And I, I understand and 100% sympathetic uh, and would even, to, given certain economic circumstances, agree. Because the housing crisis and the consequential financial crisis, all caused by MBAs. Not all MBAs, but your finance, marketing, uh, sales, uh, MBA dude bro douchebags. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then <clears throat> that says nothing about the recession that came before that, which was the dot-com recession. Also MBA douchebags. Not everyone was an NBA douchebag, but at, there was no way, no way in either. You could have, the people on the ground, like your IT guys in the in the dot-com days, and then actual realtors who are NBA dude bro scum buckets. The people who are on the ground, well, this shit ain't going to happen, but I need my commish. All right. The MBAs were dumb enough to actually finance this shit. Even, you want to go more recent? <clears throat> you want to go more recent? Hey, how's that Zerp working for you, NBA dude bros? Bro, I closed a bunch of deals. What? To finance a money losing company? All these Silicon Valley companies. Once the low interest rates went away, once you had life put on real mode and not easy mode or God mode, all of a sudden, all these companies and concerns aren't profitable or viable. And they never were. <clears throat> the number of Silicon Valley firms that got financing with NBA douchebags. That have not turned a profit. No different than back in the day when they started. Here's here's how you can tell a douchebag. Price to sales, bro. Price to sales. Sales went up 25%. What about your fucking profits, asshole? Well, you don't understand. We're, we're in an embryonic state. You've been in an embryonic stage for 10 fucking years. Well, that's the new dying, uh, paradigm. You see, now shut up. And I don't, I, I think now that the business of corporate America has just fumbled the fucking ball so many times. Uh, and people now we know MBA usually like way back in the day when, you know, less than half the population had one. It was rare to have an MBA. Okay. That was an exceptional person, you know, like any other master's. Oh, you got a master's degree. That's, you know, a college degree. Oh, now that everybody and his mother has an undergrad and some rank and file piss shit master's degree, whether it's the liberal arts, an MBA, or a law degree from some strip mall law school. Everybody's finding out that back in the day, lawyers and doctors, now it's just doctors. And an MBA, MBA doesn't mean shit now. Uh, and the rep the reputation is horribly, horribly ruined. Um, where did we go here? <clears throat> but getting back to your point, yes. Yes, because they inevitably are in positions of power that watches over at least the private sector economy, they, their mistakes are uh, compounded uh, by magnitude, orders of magnitude. Whereas, you know, Becky, I'm going to get my doctorate. You know, look at Jill Biden. What a fucking worthless human being. All right. But she's relegated to just hurting the people she teaches. She's has a doctorate in education. You know, I'm going to play patty cake in the make-believe land of academia relatively harm dude i know i know not even big bankers at big banks just medium the small regional banks that for one guy 
cause like around a hundred million dollars worth of fucking economic damage and ruin people's lives and people getting laid off. One guy. So yes, it's it's like not giving kids cars uh, keys to the car and whiskey. It's like here's the codes to the nuclear weapon launching device. <clears throat> Uh, short-term gains are the only ones who made the ultimate decision to hire the woke R tards and codify it with stuff like DEI and bridge. You were also correct there. You were also correct. I don't know if Bob Iger has an MBA. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Uh, and I've said that before back in the nineties, they were really pushing it. And you have to understand all business majors have no intelligence. They have no ability to lead or make decisions. They are programmed and coded to glom on to the most popular thing and promote popular thing. And the popular thing being pushed then was diversity. And now that everyone thinks the most important thing about them is the traits they were born with, all your business leaders, all your MBAs know what to do is promote and advertise based on traits you were born with, not quality product and an affordable price. Because that's boring, bro. That's just boring, bro. I want to be on the edge. I want to like, no, no, no. Your job, it's like, it's like municipal management. It's like the city council. Your job is to make sure the garbage is picked up, fund the police, fund the schools. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, clean the streets. That's about it. But the MBAs are egotistical too. So that's, that's not enough. Uh, <clears throat> codify it like stuff with DEI and bridge. They're the ones who ultimately make important decisions like your $150 fee at discount tire. Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't think it's the mechanics or even the office manager at discount tire. I guarantee you some MBA fuck at discount tire headquarters, HQ said, Hey, you know that it's an insurance. If you guys are wondering when you go to discount tire, they're not even going to offer it to you now. They just put it on the bill, apparently. You say, what's the certification fee? It's essentially, do you want to insure your product? Like when you go to Best Buy and you buy a calculator, say, do you want the insurance on it for three bucks? You say, fuck no, because good. have you ever collected on that insurance? It's generally a bad idea. That's what that's, that uh, thing is. I guarantee you some cock-sucking, talentless, NBA-laden fuck over at Discount Tire HQ said, put that on so we can make sales uh, required, so we can beat earnings, whichever, if it's even publicly owned, I don't know. And then I'm, that's why I put it there. I'm like, no, that's that's fraud. That's theft. Or at least it's unethical business practices. But it is only, <clears throat> and you are right, where it is short term. Law, you don't have to have 125 IQ to figure this out. You need 106, 107, and your MBA's got 101, 102 at best with a tailwind. Right? But your business is going to have another quarter after the one you're currently in. And you want to think long term. It's so boring and so simple. Good product at a fair price. That's it. It's boring. Can we make it a little bit more affordable and increase the quality? That's it. <clears throat> nope. They're like, well, we can like scam some people, tarnish the reputation and the brand name of our company, but they don't think beyond one quarter. And then they wonder why, you know, brands go belly up or, you know what, let's get Danny Malvaney or whatever the hell uh, that thing was that they hired at the, at the beer store. Well, let's get this person over here. Why did you hire him? Well, it's the same. I mean, if you look, and I'm not kidding, go look at Miller. They did another woke advertisement. Go look at the, the Bud Light. Go look at the, there were two ladies that are in their 30s, upper mid 30s. I think they had masters in marketing. These are not intelligent people. They, they just know what they were told to do by academics who never worked in the fucking real world. <clears throat> uh, to boost short-term games without any thought about the consequences because they don't look past quarterly earnings. They plug numbers into a spreadsheet, see a result, and couldn't care less about any other outcomes. Yes, because they don't have the intelligence to conceive of scenarios. There's a more formalized psychological or intelligence um, <clears throat> name for that, where you, but you can, you can theorize about, you can run a, a simulation in your mind, well, wait, if that happens, won't this happen? They don't have that ability. 
They really don't. Uh, the last example I saw firsthand, I worked for one of the uh, top video game companies in the world. I'm trying to anonymize it. I'm not going to say what type of video game company. You work for one of the top video game companies in the world and saw how that tunnel vision short-term mentally led directly to that company's downfall. Yep. Yep. What do you, what do you think? Okay, dude, do you realize... Just how much Wall Street, Wall Street, whoa, 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 someone told you, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lehman Brothers, they were what's part of the bold bracket, all these elite finance firms, wouldn't piss on you unless you were personally fucking their wives and belonged to their fraternity and went to Yale, right? That's the level of nepotism and corruption was on there. These were supposed to be financial geniuses, and they they didn't think about, should we lend money? <laughs> to people with their credit, ultimately through asset back securitization. I don't care to bore you with the details. To, <clears throat> should we lend money to people? Should we buy mortgages that have been where the mortgage has been made, lent to somebody on a short term interest rate who's got a credit score of 420? Not it, it was all dude, bro. All dude, bro. And that toppled some large firms. And it sounds like you worked at a very large video game firm that went belly up. It It happens. It happens. Um, ba, 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 da, boo. <clears throat> the amount of economic destruction the short-term gain mentally has caused, I think, is more pervasive and insidious than nearly anything else because it's ultimately the root of a lot of other issues we see and talk about. I just want to get your thoughts on that. My request. Currently, I'm working at a game company I actually enjoy. I like the company itself. I like my pay, benefits, hours, work. I love the fact of uh, some other benefits that you have. The problem is since the company has gone public, I'm now seeing the rot of the MBAs and their business dipships creep in. Oh, and they, oh God. All right, let's just talk about MBAs. Another thing here. There's no real skill in the MBA. There's not, you don't, there's no like, oh, I'm really good at MBAing. It's common sense. What they bring, it's not even bringing to the table what they inevitably bring is networking. It's popularity. That's what it is. And that might work good in high school or middle school being popular, bro, or you know, at a frat house. That doesn't work good for a multi-billion dollar corporation. And so what they do, you know, you nerds, you're all the nerds who actually built the product, a video game company, right? All right. And uh probably there was a visionary, uh, like the guy who started Apple and uh, he he started like no let's let's get all the here and going to do it in the garage and they make a great product you guys make a great product like the original games you know the, something that breaks through like Borderlands one all right uh you get a little oh wow we're really popular we did a great you already know what to do you you figured out the secret uh, formula to the magic sauce oh but now you want to go public and now you got to get now you got to get financing and now you got to get some advisors in there. And now with the new orders, because you were stupid enough to go public, I don't know why you needed to raise the money, but you did. Uh, you sold your soul. And now there's a board of directors. They bring in their bros, their bros who were fucking their other person's wife because they went to the same fraternity. You know, and they say, oh, do you have a small dick? I have a small dick. I went to Harvard too. Oh, we got a Harvard MBA. Oh my God. They have extra special small dicks and they smell funny too. And then they just bring in all these talentless people. But because they're managers, whether it's the CEO all the way down to the frontline supervisor, whatever that would be in the video game world, they have no talent. They also have no balls. They have no leadership. They, I'm not kidding. Their IQs are around like 105. And they sure the fuck don't know anything about your business or the ship you're running. And so, yeah, now you let the vampire in. You let Dracula in. And there really is no getting rid of them until like you you create shit products. What was it? Was it Bethesda that launched? Well, I mean, Activision Blizzard. How many video games where I'm a little unaware of the video game industry? Studios? Is that what it is? A video game? How many video game studios were great? They got corporatized. The it, it's a great movie. Uh Free Guy, Ryan Reynolds. You guys ever see Free Guy? And I, 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 that that movie was better than it had any right to be. It's a great movie, but they're trying to release the game prematurely, and it's not ready because the guy's an NBA douchebag, right? That's 
what happened. Now you got to, what did I say? Good product at a fair price. Now you got a shit product at a, an egregious price, especially, I'm not too uncouth about the video game industry, especially when you factor in things like DLC, early release, all this other bullshit. In our day, back in the 80s, you bought the game and it worked and you owned it and fuck you, that's how it worked. Okay, boomer. Oh no, I can't spend seventy five dollars on the ghillie suit uh, uh, skin. Oh, I don't get the magic sword for seventy three dollars of my parents' money. Uh, and specific to your industry, specific to your industry, um, <clears throat> there's a lot to be taken advantage of with online gameplay, DLC, buy all the pack, all the. Thing. What was the one? Kill the Justice League. Who is the who is the studio that did that? That just you could you could see the shit design, the shit gameplay, and then of course the woke politics. That doesn't help anything. But again, they don't know any better. This is all these NBA things. NBAs don't believe black people have taste. They're just a monolithic group who can't possibly think. They're not even human. Just have black people. Oh, that's it. There you go. That's all they want. They don't want a good video game. They don't want worth for their money. They're minorities. Trust as we know, we're MBAs. And yeah, they yeah. You went for the talented nerd IT programming geniuses to the fucking 102.1. Like MBAs IQs are like radio stations 99.5 kazam douchebag radio 101.3 kabam dick sucking cocksucker that's the you never never get what is it 104 is the fm thing go up to 104 those are mbas you can't 104 oh my god that's like the god of the mbas he's only tanked five multi-billion dollar corporations and caused a small uh, recession in argentina uh, to do. <clears throat> I'm now seeing the rod, the NBA, and their other bit. Oh, oh, the internet is gone. How much you want to, I'm not, it happened. God, I love it when it happens. Cox Communication, I guarantee you the reason everyone in Las Vegas has shit internet from Cox Communication is there is an MBA in Cox Communications. Guarantee said, nope, short term, like you're talking about before, right? Guarantee says, well, we'll just have rolling blackouts. We'll just have rolling brownouts with the, uh, with the internet. It's not because it isn't the IT guy. IT people are honest. They're moral. They they want to do the job. There was some kind. Of, well, if we just we we could save thirty three percent by by having just be you know, the internet doesn't work five percent of the time. <clears throat> what do you think? And I've made it a point. I've made it the point to highlight Cox Internet is horrible. When I come back, we'll have a new because it's not my house. <clears throat> There'll be a new internet. 
provider. But I and I, you guys like the little the little music because I knew I knew you can rely on MBAs to MBA and fuck up because they're fuck ups. And so I got that one on the ready. It that that was a very bad blackout. Like I didn't even I got booted from the stream because of Cox Internet, Cox Communications, Las Vegas, Nevada. <clears throat> As I was saying it before, uh, I now see the rod. The MBAs and their other business dipships creep in, taking hold of high-level positions. The company as a whole started to care less about making our games fun for our players and instead has begun to focus on extracting as much money from them as possible. Right. Yes. Now, look, if you're smart enough to know that, well, if you want to make as much money for people as long as, po as, as possible, period, you would make good video games that aren't shit, that don't uh, butt raisining, ass raisin their clientele and is a fun and enjoyable experience that doesn't have a bunch of woke politics in it, or any politics for that matter. But you're right, but you got to understand MBAs aren't that bright. Once you understand MBAs are lazy, they don't want to work hard, they want engineer income without the engineer work, it all makes sense. I would also say there's a bit of ego, like, I'm going to be a business, bro. I'm a business leader, bro. I got my MBA, bro. I think kind of like college and academia and professors, everyone's starting to realize that MBAs are truly fucking the scum of the earth. Uh, yeah, and now, now think about that. They, they failed. They are so short-sighted. Do you remember the, there's what, the donut, the delayed gratification? Um, test you go up to a little kid hey you can have this donut now but if you wait three minutes you can have two donuts and the smart kids wait th th two three minutes they get two donuts and the kids who are stupid have the donut because they don't have delayed gratification or maybe they're just too young mbas have never grown out of that they do not understand long-term management they're fucking morons they're, they don't know about the two donuts they're that dumb and i don't give a fuck if they have a master's degree, it's in fucking American colleges where anyone with a master's degree is a fucking idiot unless you went to STEM. <clears throat> uh, company as a whole, so I can't... Bah, 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 bah. I've come to our... Uh, you've gone to management uh, with... Uh, you've, you've tried to have a conversation with management. I don't want to identify you. And your the what you're trying to bring to the table and show them hurts short term quarterly projections and causes them to ignore it. I think part of this is because they have goals to meet, and another part is that they know they'll move on like locust to another company in a few years. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, that happened in banking a lot. Um, well, I don't know what it is like now because it's been a long time since I've been in, in banking. <clears throat> Bankers were paid by commission, so they had a tremendous incentive to close deals and lend out money even though the people they're lending it to had no choice no hope of paying it back these borrowers be nursed around for like uh, a couple years or so and in two three years time the banker who made that loan would be gone and off to another bank uh <clears throat> So they don't care about the long-term consequences. Probably not. But these fucks have giant egos, and even with the information I provide, are information I provided are impossible to talk to. In your experience, is there a way to get them to listen to reason, or should I consider their inflection of my company to be terminal? Realize the clock is ticking, and work on my resume so I can jump shit when the shit finally hits the fan. Thanks, Cappy. Well, I want to hit the fan. <clears throat> let me let me change into my MBA because you're you're asking me to be a consultant. Okay, bro. Shit, now I can't see the. Put it away. God dang it. Um, <clears throat> in your experience, is there any way to get them to listen to reason? No. Okay, let me explain to you. And uh, one, they're not that intelligent. Two, they're lazy. Three, they're not long-term invested. Now, maybe some have got some stock options that would, but you you cannot. You cannot um, <clears throat> overestimate their intelligence. Wait, is it can't you can't overestimate? Yeah, you can overestimate. <laughs> you can't underestimate their intelligence. Sorry, I got it wrong. 
uh, yeah, the, as I said before, what drives the vast majority of MBAs is that, again, they are lazy people who want engineer salaries. They are also egotistical. And you're in the video game industry, so it's like, cool, bro, we get to work in a video game. Their entire, it's kind of like a, a paradox for them, is they desperately want to be financially and business successful, but they're not going to put in the work, let alone, let alone long term. And so there is no getting through them. Then I would also add that they are, they are just not intelligent people. They, they really aren't. And they think that what they learned in business school or whatever, like that's the way they do it. They actually think that business across all industries is the exact same. And you could figure things out and you thought, oh, the Porter's five forces. Oh my God, the Boston Consulting Group. Go grab any business management book. And they'll they'll have these procedures and these flow charts and little diagrams. Oh, the arrow goes here. No, no, no. You might have to make a decision. Oh, it splits. It's a node. They really think all businesses can be broken down into a science, which cannot, especially in a, a creative company like like yours. So they're I I immune to any kind of hey, it's different here. This isn't a case study at the Harvard Business Review. And they're another. They're not able to listen to it. They're just not. Not only do they not want to, I really doubt they're. And what you're saying is to do hard work and postpone and have delayed gratification. That's not them, bro. That ain't them. So no, it's it's largely going to fall on deaf ears. Are there MBAs who have the shit together? Yes, of course. I think I might have met one or two. I think it was Chad Elkins. <clears throat> uh, then your next question. Should I consider, or should I consider their infection of my company to be terminal, realize the clock is ticking, and work on my resume so I can jump ship? Well, hold, let's hold off on that, okay? <clears throat> so here's what you can do with a little bit of finance. Bro, what you need to do is find out, if they're publicly traded, you can look up this company, all right? Find out how much cash and cash equivalents they got, all right? And then also, uh, well, okay, I don't want to get too ahead of here. And then look at what their operating expenses are. Take the cash cash equivalents they have, <clears throat> divide it by their operating expenses, which you've so cash cash equivalents you find on the balance sheet. And then you go and you find operating expenses that's um, on the uh, income statement. Some people say you would take. Uh, well, I don't want to. I don't want to introduce the cash flow statement. I'm sorry about that. Just figure out what your what your operating expenses are, and you divide the amount of cash and cash equivalents they have by their operating expenses. That gives you a very, very, very rough ballpark of how much money they got, how many, how much time, <clears throat> how many years. In some cases, it might be months. It might be days, depending on how little they have. Um, how long they could run the operations if sales just dried up. Now, it's not as simple as that, right? They could also have a very good corporate credit rating. This is where you got like, you know, AAA bonds and shit like that. If they have a profit, if they're profitable, if they have a lot of cash on hands, <clears throat> it's going to be no different than Silicon Valley 2.0. You had the dot com bubble, then you had the more recent one. They'll go get financing. They'll limp this company along. And some idiot dude, bro, bank, no doubt, headed up by a guy with an MBA, is going to say, well, let's, let's settle this deal. We'll do, we'll do a syndicated loan, bro. We'll do $2.5 billion. And that's good for you because if you get $2.5 billion, who gives a shit what the interest rate is? That's $2.5 billion more in cash that can hope, uh, help float the operations of the firm. So what I'm pointing out is as long as there is cash, or short-term investments that can be liquidated into cash. Or if you want to look at some, look at the current ratio, that's current assets divided by current liabilities. That's another rough ballpark as to roughly how many years that company can operate without making a profit uh, and keep operating. Pay you is essentially what I'm trying to figure out. See how many years it's got. See see how long it's, because if they're if they're funded with cash, you know, you got a billion dollars in cash, but you're only losing 50 million a year. Well, shit, that's a, what is that? 20 years, 20 billion, got the zeros, 20 years. Is that, did I do it right? You got a long time. You got a long time. 
But if they don't got no cash and their credit rating, if you were to look up their credit rating and it's junk status or some kind of C minus minus whatever, I don't I don't remember what the rating systems are anymore. Um, <clears throat> if if there's uh, the current ratio, that'd be something you could also look up. If it's below one, yeah, then maybe you want to spruce up your resume. But I'd be I'd be sprucing up your resume anyway. One because it's just going to get worse to work for this MBA laden MBA laden fucking idiotic company, right? You're you sound like you want to actually do really good video games and be part of a studio or a team that puts out a game that people enjoy and isn't like, hey, can we take the female heroine and make her a fat unfuckable bitch? Yeah, Microsoft Studios. There you go, everybody. Yeah, no man, no hot chicks for us, please. No. We want them uh, unfuckable as possible. You want to go to a game, find some studio. See if you get, yeah, just go. <clears throat> I, I wouldn't give it up unless you got a job lined up. Uh, and I'd, I wouldn't be in a rush if they got some good find. You said you liked it. You liked everything about the company. Just stick around, make your money while you can. Keep an eye on their finances. Uh, it's, you know, if this is a large corporation, uh, it's not going to hurt your resume. Uh, but you may, yeah, keep, definitely keep an eye on the finances and find out if they're actually making money or not. And if they start losing money, which they probably will over enough time, then yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's kind of up to you. That's your own personal financial situation. Like, do you have enough money? You don't have to work at a shit company. You can go work at the small startup and have a good old time. If I was to ever go work, <laughs> if I was to ever go to banking again, ever, I'd be like, nope, it's a private bank, which is a high net worth bank that tailors to the rich, where there's no fucking around, okay? They got the fucking money. They got the fucking credit. It's We set up, we structure up the loan. No fucking, oh, my cousin Vinny's going to take out a home equity line, a third mortgage on his trailer and then his wife is going to go whore it up on only fans and we'll pledge her future receipts from only no none of that fucking shit no uh but uh, that's because i got minimalism and I, I have my savings and all that and i don't have to work for people i don't want to if you're still young you're still trying to make some money maybe pay off some student loan debts just take the fucking money stop i'll tell you this right now stop trying to stop them just stop it. You're going to get fired quickly that way for not being a team player. Oh, uh. Just what it, What do you want? What do you want? Lord almighty NBA guy. You want me to suck your dick? All right. Oh, you are so smart. NBA. Oh, you're so smart. You're so intelligent. You must've gone to Harvard MBA school because your daddy was rich. Just play the game. It might even be fun for you. Learn how like they have to like game of Thrones their way up to the top. But yeah, just keep an eye on the company's finances and then, oh, yeah, yeah, you got a loss this quarter. Oh, $250 million development cost for this video game. And then uh, there's no one playing it online because it's such a shit game. Then, yeah, maybe go get your, uh, go brush up your resume. But in the meantime, sounds like it's going all right. Look, nothing lasts for this, this shit like, oh, I'm going to work at this company and be a family and get my, 35 years in in my pension. No, no, it's not. All right. <clears throat> do we have any super chats? Yes, we do. Hat and clogs, five bucks. Now, nah, greed and sloth really hurt video games. Gamers for being lazy and just taking it and greed from the developers and companies. Yeah, Hat, what I'm concerned about is the youngest generation, they they don't know any better. Uh, like Unless they started playing like Ghosts of Shishima or went and started playing legacy games uh, such as... Um, Red Dead Redemption. How would they know? They say, oh, all the girls are ugly. Because <laughs> when they, they look out in public and go to Walmart, all the girls are ugly. <laughs> they don't, what was it? The, the, the beach volleyball, the assassin, the assassin girl. The, God, what the hell was it? The, the, they were all ninja girls, and they played volleyball. They had bikinis, and you unlock bikinis. That's from like 10, 15 years ago. Um, yeah, they don't know about that. They don't know about that. Uh, Anthony Ciratino, our Italian agent in the field, 10 bucks NBA, more like MPK. Am I right? It's, <clears throat> it's, uh, lame. Yes. It, it's, I, they're, it's like HR. They're 
on the way out. No one, no one cares. No one cares. Naughty DJ Aftershock, five bucks. Reminds me a lot of Boeing post-97 McDonnell Douglas merger. McDonnell Douglas leadership took over. Most of them finance dudes with MBA still in power today. Oh, there you go. Could be. It wouldn't surprise me. Ass bucket, two bucks. EBITDA, bro. <laughs> it's all about the EBITDA, bro. What about taxes, interest, depreciation, and amortization? Those aren't real expenses. No, bro, they're not. They're all made up expensive. EBITDA. Novitrix, five Canadian bucks. Wow, Cappy, looking sharp. Really hope you get a gang and play. Don't starve together. Top-down survival game. Show how civilization ought to be run. Was that a game, like Don't Starve Together? Is that an actual game? Isn't there a game called, like, Don't Die? Uh, Novitrix, again, for five Canadian. Consider gaming as the topic. Would love to see you play Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, wow, that was a long time ago. Since you said you're a dance instructor, you still got the... Oh, I got the... Don't worry, I got the moves. Dance Dance Revolution, though, that's just learning patterns. I mean, you got to be on beat, too. Um, which is different, though, than dancing to a salsa. Uh, yeah, I went dancing about two months ago. Still got my moves. I'm still fine. It's kind of weird. Once you do, you don't forget it. Nonstop trade, two bucks. Soon you have to pay to respawn in Call of Duty. Yeah, I see that shit. Just, I'm not, I'm not, the other thing, I know I'm old like this. When I buy a game, uh, I want there to be a campaign. I don't want to be going online. I don't want to pay for a subscription. Why can't I just have a FPS to go run around, run and gun? I started playing Battlefield Bad Company 1 and 2 again just because I was like, forget this. Got my old 360. Bunch of old games. Just play that instead. Hand clogs, two bucks. Prosperity, uh, prosperity liberty, and managed democracy. <clears throat> Sam Whiskey, most American name in America. 10 bucks. Hey, louder milk. My 92 Nissan Sentra is more reliable than Cox Internet. Anything is more reliable than Cox Internet because Cox Internet has MBAs. This isn't the guy who didn't set the router up correctly. That that's that no, he he did it right. It is an MBA who said we're not going to create enough for we're not going to give you the servers, the routers, the the cat cables whatever. We're not going to provide enough uh, uh uh infrastructure to handle uh overage for traffic jams. We're just not going to we're not going to build it. <clears throat> ass bucket two bucks bid nance. need more swat graphs and kpi metrics bro <laughs> sam whiskey to oh by the way ladies just to help you girls out if the guy says he's got an mba just fucking run okay he's poor he's in debt he's got like a three-year-old lease beamer that he that he doesn't know how to take care and maintain he he, he works hard but Get, the, get the, okay, okay, everybody. Oh, hang on. I'm sorry. That dude is right. <clears throat> okay, 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 bro, 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 bro. Okay. Look, look, look. Okay, I work hard. I, I, I work hard. I, but, but, check this out, bro. I party hard too. All right, I, I, fucking UW Madison MBA school. <clears throat> oh, they're fucking idiots, all of you. Um. Cappy, will the Department of Justice ruin Apple the way NBA's ruined video games? I don't know what's happening to Department of Justice and Apple. Tim Cook, wasn't he all about uh, Mother Earth and environment? And Apple, is, Apple isn't a, a technology store. It's a fashion store. It's a fashion business. It's all about fashion. It's about looking cute. It, it, yeah, I mean, their fashion piece is a piece of technology, but it's a... I mean, you guys have fun with your little pretty phones there. I don't know what's going on with the Department of Justice. I really don't care. Sam Whiskey, two bucks. Does that shirt come with a ukulele? No, it doesn't, Sam. Adam got me this. I like it. These are these are this is the only one I got. I got several actually. They're very nice. They got pockets down here. I can like when I used to smoke cigars, you could put a pocket in there. And then the other one had a pen holder. This one doesn't have that one's got a pen holder. I really like them. They're very nice. Very nice. Uh, Naughty DJ Aftershock, two bucks. Less profit, more global corporate citizenship. <laughs> bro. 
that shit, it is falling apart. This whole, yo, know, business and family and party. We're going to go downtown. And you can't even go to strip clubs anymore. We used to be able to take people out on sales. You go know, take them to the strip club, get them all hammered and fucked up. Can't even do that anymore. Girls don't even have pencil skirts anymore in the offices. I don't think anyone going to the offices. As I said before, I, do you want downtown to be revitalized again? You need hot chicks and pencil skirts. That's what you need. <clears throat> oh, happy going against our what? How does the frat boy douchebag dude bro culture run up against that DEI? Like you just suck the dick or what? You put on your fucking Patagonia vest, you get your little fucking coffee, and then well, you just take it up the ass. What do you guys do? <laughs> Factious T Lou, two bucks. Work hard and play hard. There you go. Work hard and play hard, bro. It's not worked. Skis and embezzle and, and, and defraud. Uh, link below. If you want to see what it's like working with actual MBAs, I have a book out there. First book I ever wrote called Behind the Housing Crash. You could see how, I'm not joking, a bunch of gray-haired boomer MBA dude bros, washed up fucking jocks, uh, how they ruined the U.S. economy. And how I try to stop If you want to see some fucking criminal shit and the dumbass crap, you got to read about Zorba the Swede. Oh, yeah, Zorba the Swede. You got to read about Zorba the Swede. No joke, fucking. This is when the boomers are like in their upper 50s and 60s. This, it's in Minnesota, right? Not a lot of sun. This guy had a tan like he was Greek, but he's Swedish. Can't remember his last name, but he's Swedish. A lot of Swedish people up in Minnesota because they're all self-loathing, except this guy. And the guy had, he come in kind of like a shirt like this, but unbuttoned down. And he had the fucking bushy-ass Greek chest hair maybe he did have a little bit of greek in him fucker wore a medallion a fucking medallion into like the meeting to because he wanted to extend his loan because it's called extend and pretend because he didn't have any money and just that i hope that cocksucker is dead i he's he's bankrupt i know that <laughs> that gravy train ended yeah anyway, you want to read about zorba the sweet go get behind the housing crash also linked below is Achieving Financial Excellence, uh, where if you want to be wealthier than an MBA, well, I guess you just go work as a waiter or a waitress and save your money and live at home. And you'll be richer. If you got like five bucks in your account, no debts, you're wealthier than an MBA. Uh, achieving Financial Excellence. So you know not to work too hard. All right, there you guys go. Just watch video games turn into shit. Not that I haven't already. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.